How's it going everyone? So lately I've been receiving requests about what wallets do I think um, are the best or is the best for beginners and what asset should one hold in order to yield decently high interest. Uh, my goal with this video is to tackle both of those questions exactly by introducing and onboarding you to Rainbow Wallet and demonstrating how easy it is to earn interest by holding Origins OUSD. So with that said, let's get started. So right now I'll do this demonstration on my iPhone, but for those who operate off of an Android device, um, it's the same practice, but all you have to do is just use Google Play to download the application. So that said, let's go ahead and open the App Store. And as I mentioned, we're going to onboard onto Rainbow Wallet. So let's search up Rainbow Wallet. As you can see, I've already had that downloaded before, but again, we're going to re-download it and I'm going to walk you through the onboarding process in this demonstration. So I'm going to download it now by tapping on that cloud icon, give it a second to download, and then let's go ahead and open it up. Once you do, you're going to be led to the uh, main welcome screen and you're going to be offered two options here. One is to get a new wallet and that's exactly what we're about to do in just a moment. And if you already have an Ethereum wallet, all you have to do is just retrieve your recovery phrase and paste it here. So as you can see, I tapped on, I already have one. All I have to do is either restore it from my iCloud. If I have it saved, saved on my iCloud, restore it with a secret phrase. If you have it saved uh, or stored somewhere, maybe on your in your phone's notes or on your computer somewhere, you could easily just copy that secret phrase and paste it here. Or if maybe you don't want to recover a wallet, you just want to watch one, for instance, then you could tap on that last option there, watch an Ethereum, an Ethereum wallet or address. But again, in this demo, I'm gonna show you how to create your own Rainbow wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on get a new wallet. And just like that, you're already onboarded, simple as that. In literally less than 30 seconds, you already created your own Ethereum wallet that's now compatible with the rest of the Web3 ecosystem. But as you can see here, a bottom sheet has appeared in which it's informing us that we need to back up our wallet either with uh, through either the two options provided below. So either we could back it up to our iCloud, which I don't recommend, or you could back up manually. For this demo, I will not write down or show my secret phrase, but I highly recommend those watching to tap on backup manually, take the minute or two to write down your 12 word recovery phrase and make sure that you keep that handy, keep it in a very safe location and don't lose it. In fact, I highly recommend everyone writing it down multiple times and keeping it in a safe location because if you lose that secret phrase, then you essentially lose all the funds that you hold in your wallet and we definitely don't want to see that happen. Tap on backup manually and write down that phrase and I'll give you a second, go ahead and pause this video before we continue. And then once you're done, go ahead and start this up and we can continue down the onboarding path. So now that you've written down your recovery phrase and you put in a safe location, let's go ahead and get you familiar with what is Rainbow Wallet. In my opinion, Rainbow Wallet is the best Ethereum wallet for beginners because it's a very concise, user-friendly and very sleek interface that welcomes you to this pretty complex environment that we're in um, in the Ethereum network, right? Or the Ethereum ecosystem. So what does it offer? Let's go ahead and tap on the umbrella that you can see on the top left-hand corner. Here is basically the accounts details page that shows you my public key or your public address. By tapping on that down arrow, you could see that a bottom sheet will emerge. It'll show a portion of my public key, the amount of ETH that I have in my wallet. I could go ahead and create a new wallet if I want to, or I could go ahead and import a new, an existing wallet that I may have elsewhere. Maybe I have a MetaMask or my trust wallet and I could go ahead and paste my recovery phrase there. Now say I no longer want this wallet for whatever reason, I could go ahead and tap on edit, tap on the three dot icon on the right side here. And I could go ahead and either rename my wallet, right? I could call this a rainbow, demo or you can name yours whatever you'd like in this case i'll name mine rainbow demo and i'll tap done and there you go now i just replaced my public key with a nickname or if i wanted to and i wanted to delete my wallet i could go ahead and tap on delete wallet and start from scratch now say you want to send your address to someone else your friend family etc you could go ahead and just tap on copy address as you saw that big thumbs up popped up that means it's safely uh, copied to my clipboard and I could go ahead and share it with whoever I may like. And likewise with the receive, I tap on receive, it shows my QR code, it shows my public key, and I could go ahead, if I tap share, 
my a share sheet would pop up and I could share it with through messages, Telegram, Discord, whichever messaging application I see fit. So enough of that. That's basically a high overview on how to go around the Rainbow Wallet and how to utilize it to the best of your ability. But now it's time to top up our wallet with some ETH and let's go ahead and buy some OUSD so we can start earning some interest. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and tap on receive and I'm going to send myself some ETH. And this may take a minute or two. So give me one second for my ETH to load up on my wallet and then we'll get back to rolling and loading up on some OUSD. All right, we're back. And as you can see, I've loaded up my rainbow wallet with about $300 worth of ETH or about 0.109 ETH in my wallet. And for good reason, I'm going to show you in just a moment. So basically, OUSD is a basket of stable coins, primarily USDT, which is US dollar tether, DAI, which is maker DAO's stable coin, and USDC, which is Center's centralized stable coin, right? Or US dollar coin, which is the whole name. And basically what we're about to do is we're about to swap our ETH or our Ethereum as shown here for some USDC. And then from there, we're going to deposit our newly acquired USDC into the OUSD portal in return for some yield earning or yield accruing OUSD stable coin. So with that said, let's go ahead and do it. So let's go right ahead and tap on this squiggly line on the bottom. That will lead us to Rainbow Wallet's exchange. We're going to swap some ETH for, as I mentioned, USDC. And I would like to swap about $150 worth of ETH for uh, USDC. As you can see, I will be swapping 0 0.054751, which is approximately $150.63 for give or take 150 USDC, which in reality could be converted into approximately $150. And on the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the estimated fee that will be that correspond to this transaction. It just dropped right before our eyes. It's gonna take approximately a minute and I'll have to pay about $25.73 for this transaction to go through. I'm gonna go ahead and hold the swap. Since I haven't set up my biometric scan for this, uh, for my wallet yet, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on okay. It's going to scan my face I'm going to hold the swap and just like that you can see that i'm swapping my eth for usdc so let's give it a second for it to go through and we'll continue with acquiring our ousd all right welcome back everyone so as you can see the conversion or the swap has been confirmed on the blockchain i now have about 150 usdc or approximately 150 dollars in us dollar coin and now we're going to go ahead and deposit these newly acquired funds into OUSD's portal in return for some high yielding stablecoin in OUSD. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and open my internet. All right, welcome back everyone. So as you can see, the transaction has confirmed. I now have about $149 worth of US dollar coin or 150 exactly of USDC. And now we're going to convert our USDC into OUSD by depositing it through the OUSD portal. But before we do that, let's go ahead. As you can see, we now have the savings tab on the bottom portion of the screen. Say if we wanted to deposit our USDC there, or if we had DAI, we could deposit DAI as well. And we could earn about 1.3% with this uh, mechanism. But what I'm about to show you, you'll be yielding significantly higher interest with this OUSD stablecoin. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it right now. Let's go ahead and open our internet browser. I use DuckDuckGo and we're going to go to OUSD.com. So as you can see, OUSD is the first stablecoin that earns yield while it's still in your wallet. And that's exactly what it does. And you'll see in just a moment. So let's go ahead and tap on get OUSD. As of right now, OUSD is yielding approximately 13.63% and that's trailing APY. So it might go up, might go down within the day or it might go up, might go down by tomorrow morning really depends on supply and demand fluctuations as we see throughout a given day. Now, let's go ahead and connect our wallet by tapping on connect. Since Rainbow Wallet is not offered here, we can connect it using Wallet Connect. So let's tap on that option. And as you can see, it's the first one that's shown there. Let's tap on Rainbow. We'll be prompted to open the app in another window. So let's go ahead and tap on open. And when we're navigated to the Rainbow Wallet, we're now prompted to connect our Rainbow Wallet to the OUSD 
uh, website. So let's go ahead and tap on connect. I'm gonna bring us back to OUSD. And as you can see on the top right hand corner, that green dot indicates that we are now connected to the origin dollar or OUSD portal. And now we could go ahead and convert our USDC to some yield bearing OUSD stable coins. So that said, let's go ahead and tap on this drop down menu. I, since I hold USDC, I'm going to tap on USDC and you can see my balance on that bottom portion right there, balance of 150 USDC. Let's tap on max. And as you can see, it says approve the flipper. So the flipper is the mechanism that's used to stake or deposit your USDC in one of the yield bearing uh, strategies that OUSD or origin uses to again, accrue this high yielding interest for the stable coin. And if we scroll down a little more, you could see the rates for the transaction. Flipper is obviously the most effective price at a dollar and eight cents, um, which is the best. Now you could also swap it for a dollar 12, which is 3% less or sorry, 3% more or with the origin vault, a dollar 15, which is 6% more. If you really want to see more, you go ahead with the most be coming from Uniswap V2 at $30 and it is about a 2,674% difference in price. So yeah, obviously we do not want to do that. We're going to go ahead with the flipper option. And in order to do that, we need to approve the smart contract to allow us to spend these funds. So let's tap on approve. It's going to take us to the rainbow wallet. As you can see, it's going to cost approximately $8 and 73 cents. And the confirmation for this transaction will go through in give or take 45 seconds. And as you can see, the transaction is going to cost about $9 and 14 cents. And it'll go through in approximately one minute or 45 seconds now that you saw that it updated. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on confirm. And now I'm going to go back to the OUSD portal, tapping on back. And as you can see, it's approving the flipper. So we'll be right back once that transaction is confirmed and I'll show you exactly how to swap your USDC for All right, so as you can see, the flipper confirmation has been, all right, so we're back. And as you can see, the flipper transaction has been confirmed. Now I could go ahead and swap my USDC for some OUSD. So let's go ahead and tap on swap. It's gonna open up the rainbow app and we're gonna go ahead and confirm the transaction. I'll pay about $17.80. And the transaction should go through and give or take about a minute. And we could further evaluate or observe the transaction by tapping on the transaction. As you can see, the ETH uh, has been sent to pay for the transaction. We can go and view it on Etherscan and scrutinize the transaction some more. So as you can see, I have transferred 150 USDC from my wallet to the origin dollar swapping mechanism in return for 150 OUSD or give or take $149.52. And I paid approximately $17.12 for the transaction or in gas price, that is approximately 59.498 GUI. So let's go back to the uh, to the OUSD portal. And just like that, I now have a balance of 150 OUSD, as you can see here. And now I'm yielding about 13.63% on trailing APY. And if we want to track the performance of this APY, again, is variable. We can go ahead and tap on the trailing APY hyperlink. It's gonna take us to the analytics page. And from there, we could further see the performance of OUSD's yield over the 30-day trailing average, 360-day trailing average, and when the next, or the amount that will be within the next rebase. And that's usually within the day. So just like that, I'm going to return to my accounts page. And within the day, we'll probably earn some yield, as you can see in that pending yield. But now let's go back to the rainbow wallet to see if the tokens will display in our wallet. And as you can see, not only do I still have obviously my ETH or my Ethereum, but now I have my balance of 150 OUSD in my rainbow wallet. And just like that, that is exactly how you could easily onboard onto Rainbow Wallet and swap your stable coins for OUSD in return for some high yield in a matter of about five minutes or so. So with that said, thank you everyone for watching. I hope this answers some of your questions. And if anything, please leave a comment below and I'll try to get to it as fast as possible. Well, with that said, thanks for watching again. See you later.